On July 11, 2021, Bulgarians will head to the polls for the second time this year to elect the 240 members of their national parliament, the Assembly of the Republic. After the April elections, the three biggest parties each failed to form a stable government, returning the mandate of government formation to the president of Bulgaria. This forced him to call new elections, as a caretaker government was installed, headed by former defense minister General Stefan Yanev. Bulgaria is divided into 31 multi-member constituencies, with a minimum of four available seats to a maximum of 16, with an electoral threshold of 4%. Grajdani za evropejsko razvitje na Bulgarija, Citizens for the European Development of Bulgaria, as well as Sajuz na demokratični tesili, the Union of Democratic Forces, is the main center-right political force in Bulgaria. On economic matters, they seek to maintain the current flat tax system, with their final goal being Bulgaria's access to the Eurozone. Socially, they seek to integrate vulnerable groups like the elderly and people with disabilities in all fields, while also expanding government services to be done online. They're considerably conservative, socially, focusing on the defense of the family model, including child welfare, and setting measures such as a minimum wage while keeping in consideration economic factors. It's a strongly pro-European coalition and approves of the European Union taking some powers away from the government. GERB was created in 2006 by former Sofia mayor and former prime minister Boyko Borisov, who split from the National Movement for Stability and Progress of former Tsar Tsimeon II. They won the 2009 election and have won every election since, losing the position of prime minister just once in 2013, but that government fell in less than a year. After the snap elections of 2014, Borisov reclaimed the government once again. SDS is one of the country's oldest parties, existing since the end of the communist regime. It was part of the negotiations known as the Roundtables, which facilitated the transition from communism to democracy. Initially, it was an alliance of several parties and associations, but in 1997 officially registered as a single party. Regardless of its statutes, SDS played a major role in politics during the first decade after the end of communism. Although he's not standing for prime minister, the coalition is currently led by Boyko Borisov. He's been prime minister for the past three terms and was formerly a member of the Communist Party, resigning in 1991 after the fall of the People's Republic of Bulgaria. Soon after, he founded his own security firm and even served as the bodyguards of former communist leader Todor Zhikov and former Tsar Simeon II. He returned to the Ministry of the Interior in 2001 as the chief secretary until 2005 when he ran for the National Assembly on the list of the National Movement of Simeon II, where he won a seat but refused to take it. Later that year, he was elected mayor of Sofia and re-elected in 2007. Gerb was founded in 2006, but technically Borisov did not participate in the party's foundation because of legal restrictions. In 2009, he was elected to parliament and became prime minister for the first time. Gerb was accepted into the EPP party in 2008, a year before getting representation in the European Parliament, where they sit in the EPP group. SDS also sits in the EPP group and joined the party in 1998. Ima Takav Narod, known in English as There Is Such a People, is a big tent anti-establishment, populist, and anti-corruption party. It was founded in 2020 by singer and TV host Slavi Trifonov, it broke all expectations in the April elections by becoming the second largest party, both in votes and number of seats. Economically, the party is centrist, supporting policies that help reduce the national deficit and even reduce national spending to 38% of GDP. They also support fiscal decentralization and the abolition of interests and taxes on wages smaller than the minimum wage. However, they support a taxation system based on family income at a 10% rate. Socially, they support the decentralization of power, including making the roles of ombudsman and prosecutor general directly elected by Bulgarians, removing special prosecutors, removing restrictions on holding referenda, and electoral reforms where members of the assembly are elected by a majority system with a second round, just like in France, and a single transferable vote for local elections. They also have expressed interest in promoting and protecting families with parents receiving benefits in tax reduction and government support to ensure the healthy development of children. 
They also advocate for people with disabilities to be fully integrated into the labor market and into society. Finally, they also want to make the process for Bulgarian nationals to return to Bulgaria easier via digital platforms. ITN has a pro-European approach looking for Bulgaria to take a leadership role in the southeast region of the continent. The party is currently led by its founder, Slavi Trifonov. As previously stated, he is a former singer and TV host. In 2021, he ran for the first time in any election and was elected to the assembly. It's currently not known if he's seeking the role of prime minister after the next election. ITN has no known affiliation with any European group or political party. Bulgarian Socialist Party for Bulgaria, or Bulgarska Socialisticeska Partia za Bulgaria, in its own native language, is the country's main center-left force. This coalition has existed since 1991 as an alliance of minor center-left to left-wing parties with the main Bulgarian Socialist Party, the BSP. The party itself was founded in 1891 as the Bulgarian Social Democratic Workers' Party and then became the country's main communist party in 1919. In 1944, it joined with other parties in a coup d'etat to overthrow the prime minister at the time, Konstantin Muraviev, and Tsar Simeon II was deposed with the help of the Soviet Union and a later referendum. As a result, the Communist Party became the main party in the Fatherland Front Coalition, where it ruled unopposed until 1989 when it changed its name to the BSP after the fall of communism. In 1990, they won a majority and even formed a government, but it was deposed in December after a general strike, and in 1991 they went into opposition. Since then, they've held two governments, the Vidanov government from 1995 until 1997, and the Stanivesh government from 2005 until 2009. In this election, BSP for Bulgaria is running together with 16 organizations, the largest coalition in its history. Economically, the party supports a large interventionist model with government owning and managing the resources of the nation with little to no intervention from the private sector. New companies would exist as part of the state's social economy. They also support a green economy, seeing it as a vehicle for social justice and improving citizens' health. They also want to abolish the flat tax system and replace it with a progressive tax. Socially, the party focuses on the protection of the family, offering to reduce taxes in homes with more than one child and according to the number of working family members. They also propose helping young couples, giving them easier access to housing and flexible working hours and working methods, such as remote working. On the European level, BSP for Bulgaria is very pro-European willing to give more power to the European institutions, believing it to be a better system to implement goals on health, energy, economy, and others in all member states. Only in migration do they differ, believing that the bloc should find a solution different from the Global Pact for Migration. BSP for Bulgaria is once again led by Cornelia Ninova. She's a lawyer who served as an advisor to the municipality of Sofia from 1995 until 1996, until she moved to the private sector as CEO of Techno Impex. In 2005, she was appointed Deputy Minister of the Economy and Energy, while also becoming chairwoman for Bulgar Tabak, a tobacco company. In 2007, however, she was removed from both positions due to an investigation against her. In 2016, she rose again by becoming the party's leader, but after the 2019 European election results, she seems to have resigned, only to then withdraw her resignation soon after. BSP for Bulgaria is largely associated with the SND group, and the Bulgarian Socialist Party itself is also a member of the Party of European Socialists. Former Prime Minister Stanishev actually serves as its current president. A minor party in the coalition, the Bulgarian Left, is a member of the Party of the European Left. Dvizhenia Zaprava i Svobodi, the Movement for Rights and Freedom, is one of the largest minority parties in Europe, founded as a movement to represent ethnic Turks in Bulgaria. Economically, the party believes in a balance between a strong private sector controlled by government policies, especially on subjects such as economic impact. To achieve economic growth, they propose constant government assistance to business in order to comply with all regulations. Additionally, they support further government spending in areas such as education, roads, and the development of technology. 
socially, the party defines itself as liberal, and even though it was founded with the intention to represent the Turkish minority, leaders now want to grow their voter base, acting more as a national party rather than a single-issue one. On migration, for example, they recognize the existence of a problem, but want to ensure safer passages for migrants. This party is strongly pro-European and has stated the need for the country to have a stronger role in decision-making at that level. DPS was founded in 1990, when it ran for parliament and gained a little over 8% of the vote. Since then, they've maintained a constant voter base, sometimes reaching almost 15% of the national vote. The party, however, is not without its struggles and controversies. Since its foundation, many claim the party is unconstitutional since it specifically represents a group of people as opposed to the entirety of Bulgaria. Furthermore, some have accused the party of serving the interests of Turkey, like when they opposed the privatization of Bulgartabak, a move approved by the government and the EU on the grounds that it would hurt the Turkish community mostly employed there. The party is led by its chairman, Mustafa Karadai. He joined the party in 1991 and later founded and led its youth wing from 1998 to 2003, while also working as a teacher for the new Bulgaria University on Informatics. He served as an MP since 2013 and became the party's leader in 2016. DPS is a member of the ALDE party and has sat with the Renew Europe group since 2004, when the ELDR was rebranded as ALDE. Demokratichna Bulgaria, or Democratic Bulgaria, is a big tent coalition composed of three main parties. Democrats for a Strong Bulgaria, the Green Movement, and Yes Bulgaria. Although very different in specific fields, all of these parties agree on an anti-corruption platform and stand against the Borisov and Gerb governments. Economically, this coalition has agreed that a liberal market economy can exist along with regulations from strong government. Specifically, these parties seek for a complete renewal of highways, the completion of railroads, ports, and sea routes, which can then be used by members of the private sector. Nonetheless, they have also agreed on a green tax and environmental restrictions to ensure both the protection of the environment and an eventual transition from fossil fuels. They also want younger people to be relieved from taxes as an incentive not to leave the country. Socially, the coalition agrees upon the further democratization of Bulgaria by increasing the number of government services to be done online, e-democracy, and a decentralization of government powers. This coalition is very pro-EU and believes that further integration will help Bulgaria on every front, be it economical or environmental. DB was created in 2018 by the previously mentioned political parties. The oldest one, the Democrats for a Strong Bulgaria, was created in 2004 after a split from SDS led by former chairman Ivan Kostov due to the many electoral defeats and the party's leadership's refusal to accept responsibility for them. The Green Movement was established in 2008 as just the Greens after many environmentalist movements decided to get involved as a whole in politics. Lastly, Yes Bulgaria was created in 2017 after Christo Ivanov, a former Minister of Justice for the second Borisov government, resigned in protest of the government's lack of support on judicial reform. The coalition as a whole is led by two chairmen. Atanas Atanasov of the Democrats for a Strong Bulgaria served on the judicial system for a long time until he was appointed as the head of the Agency for National Security from 1997 until 2001 where he gained recognition for his fight against corruption. He later joined DSB and served as an MP from 2005 until 2009, when he failed to get re-elected. He became a leader in 2017 and was elected into parliament once again in 2021. Christo Ivanov of Yes Bulgaria worked as a legal consultant for many years until he was appointed Minister of Justice for the caretaker government of Georgi Bliznashki in 2014 and held on to that role with the subsequent second Borisov cabinet until 2015, when he resigned in protest. The coalition has no formal affiliation with a European group or party, but the member parties do. The Green Movement is a member of the European Greens, DSB are members of the EPP, and Yes Bulgaria have no known affiliation. The coalition's single MEP is a member of the DSB and therefore sits in the EPP group. 
Is Bravise Mutrivan, or Stand Up Mafia Out in English, is a coalition of small anti-corruption parties, movements, and organizations. Economically, they want to keep the current taxation system of flat tax and even temporary tax exemptions on some industries to combat the effects of the pandemic on the economy. However, they also believe in a welfare state, especially in the field of family support. Their proposed benefits correlate with the number of children per household, starting with 2,000 lev and an increase on maternity leave and for the government to purchase books and finance travels to cultural sites. They also propose a value-added tax for arts. On a larger scale, they also look for most of the money collected in taxes to remain within municipalities. Socially, the party holds the position of protecting the family model. To ensure this, they propose free kindergarten and nursery, helping couples with reproductive problems with, for example, in vitro fertilization, banning child marriage even if it means going against ethno-cultural traditions, and child abandonment. They also seek legislation guaranteeing equality among men and women. Finally, they seek reform within the justice system, including a reduction of the terms for judges and prosecutors, eliminating specialized bodies, and introducing individual constitutional complaints. In the electoral field, they seek organizations outside of political parties and coalitions to present candidate lists for any kind of election. As for Europe, their most immediate interest is for Bulgaria to enter the Schengen area and to cooperate further and integrate with the other countries of the Western Balkans. The coalition is composed of many parties and organizations, mainly groups like Movement 21, Volt Bulgaria, The Poisonous Trio, and others. They all center around Stand Up BG and their leader, Maya Manolova. As a point of interest, most of the members of this coalition were organizers and supporters of the 2020 protests against the Borisov government. Maya Manolova used to be a member of the Bulgarian Socialist Party from 1990 until 2015, and served as an MP from 2005 until 2014. In 2015, she became the National Ombudsman of Bulgaria and served until 2019. Shortly after she left, she founded Stand Up BG, and in 2021, along with the ISMV coalition, was elected to parliament once again. Of all the organizations belonging to ISMV, Volt is associated with the Greens Europe Free Alliance Group through the German branch, which has an MEP in that group. The Bulgaria for Citizens Party, on the other hand, is affiliated with the EPP party. The Bulgarian Patriots, or Bulgarski de Patrioti, is a right-wing coalition which brings together the National Front for the Salvation of Bulgaria, IMRO, the Bulgarian National Movement, and Volia. Economically, these parties want a market economy that's regulated by the government. They also want legislation to prevent the surge of monopolies, or what they describe as cartels. They also want wages and pensions to be heavily increased. All members of this coalition are socially conservative and have a strong stance against illegal immigration, and parties like DPS, who they feel represents the interests of Turkey over Bulgaria. Furthermore, they believe the constitution needs to be heavily amended, especially on the subject of power distribution in government. IMRO has even proposed that the country become a presidential republic, with the roles of heads of government and state belonging to one person, the president of Bulgaria. In a way, the Bulgarian Patriots Coalition is the successor of the United Patriots Coalition of 2016. The already existing Patriotic Front of IMRO and NFSB was joined by Ataka, creating the United Patriots with Volia existing as a different party under the name Liberal Alliance. In 2017, United Patriots entered into a government coalition with GERB while receiving support and confidence by the newly rebranded Volia. As time went by, infighting in this coalition saw Ataka leave the Patriots in 2019. 2021 saw IMRO also running its own coalition without NFSB, who joined forces with Volia and other minor parties. All of these parties failed to enter parliament, but now IMRO and NFSB have found common ground once again and have agreed to join forces with Volia. Although Krasimir Karakachinov, Valery Simeonov, and Vasily Mareshki are the leaders of each party and co-chairs of the coalition, 
they will not be standing in this election as a reassurance that there will not be power struggles like in the United Patriots. Their main candidate, however, will be Julian Angelov, a high-ranking member of IMRO. He served as an MP from 2014 until 2018 and failed to get elected to the European Parliament in 2019. In the European Parliament, NFSB used to be a member of the Eurosceptic EFD after Slavcho Vinev, elected for Ataka, left the party and merged into NFSB. Imro is a member of the ECR party and group, and Volia joined the MENF party while also transitioning to the ID party.